Morning guys, it's Dan from the Headwaters Kayak Shop and I'm about to go pick up Linda and the two of us are gonna head to Oklahoma City for three days for Paddle Sports Retail. We're gonna check out all the new latest gear and give you guys a little behind the scenes tour of what's going on as well as some other videos and reviews along the way. So stay tuned, we got a lot of great content coming your way. I'm hanging out at the suspense booth today and yeah they've got lots of new stuff coming out including this new deep V car it's got the beach tires as well as the non beach tires but if you've got one of those big uh, pontoon hole boats or like a really works really well on the feel free big fish or Hobies that's the cart for you if you're using it on sand these beach tires do a great job of holding the weight not letting you sink into the sand so really cool stuff we're excited to have that from suspense quick look at the Eddie line kayaks booth They've got the Sandpiper loud and proud right out front with the seagrass and silver. The new Sitka range in the Rasta colors. <laughs> Sitka ST, LT, and XT. Basically, this is a new one, the 14.6. The Sitka ST, the Samba rebranded. And then this one is basically the Denali, the boat I've been paddling for years. But they did do a little bit larger front cockpit hatch on that. So, really excited about these boats. Um, I've been a huge fan of Denali for years. But the Sitka LT, which should fit me a little better, I'll probably switch to this one. Be on the lookout of me paddling that one really soon. Over here, we've got the Native Watercraft, Hurricane, Liquid Logic booth. And they just told me they bought this boat right here, the new Bayak. So I think you'll be seeing some more different things coming from Native Watercraft using this platform, this style. They told me right away that it's going to go over some serious revisions before they hit the market with it. But they just wanted to show off the fact that they have it. So that's cool. Over here, you've got their new kind of recreation boat as well as basic fishing pack. What's up? Hi, Dan. <laughs> you guys know Ethan and Nick from uh, Happy Paddling. If you don't, you should go check out happypaddling.com. This boat's kind of unique because it's stackable. You have the option to get it with the chair or like this one over here has a basic clip-in seat. Now this one's gonna be going for around $7.99 with the chair. Without the chair, man, don't quote me. I would say in the 600 range. Not everyone's wanting to fish, so some people just want a nice basic kayak that they can fish from, that they're gonna be comfortable in. So we're excited to get our butts in these. NRS, man, they had the biggest spread at the show this time. And they have so much cool stuff to show. The stuff I'm really excited about is the new Raku Fishing PFD. It's almost identical to the new Chinook, but it's got the full back on it as opposed to the half back. So that should be really nice. All new Chinook. They changed the foam up a little bit, changed the pockets just slightly when I was set up. So again, this one's got the high back versus the other one having the low back. And then a couple other things that are really cool. They come out with a women's specific one. You girls have been asking for it. And NRS is listening. The all new she -Nook. So they got a bunch of other cool paddling gear, as well as a bunch of like sun shirts, splash wear, new board shorts. I'm really excited about this guy right here. I'm talking to them about putting our shop logo on that shirt right there. What do you guys think? You guys sport that? New current design boats, man, they look so sharp. The Redding store's been carrying these for a while, but they just keep looking better and better at every show. Blue Sky Boat Works. I'll talk to these guys a little bit. Again, we'd love to hear from you guys. If there's something you want to see in the shop, you just leave it in the comment section, man. Let us know. Also, Jackson's coming out with the new bite. This is their new $7.99 price point. Still has their seat that you used to seeing. Huge tank well, huge standing platform. But just a lot of the features are built in on the boat, and so they're able to keep that price way down. I think some of you guys are going to be pretty fired up about that. You may have seen this at some iCast footage. This is going to be the new pedal drive. They're going to have the option to buy it without the pedal drive. And this little insert can swap out. And you can have that insert right there. So if you want to paddle it, you can paddle it. If you want to pedal it, you can pedal it. If you want to buy it without pedals, you can do that. And you can always upgrade. And a lot of you guys have been talking about this right here. So I had to come show you angler series of paddles but this one in particular i think this is one i'm super excited about i've been loving the navigator for years when they came out with the new navigator angler which has a bigger blade a little more surface area lots of flotation adjustable shaft from 240 to 255 this will be my paddle for next year no doubt and new new booth blake's always busy this guy never stops i don't even know if he sleeps what's going on dan what's up well, i got a little pillow back here <laughs> yeah <laughs> So the new Flint pedal drive, you guys, this thing has been cleaned up so much since the last time 
Well, we haven't even seen the Flint pedal drive, but we've used their pedal drives in the past. And so clean, so smooth. This thing was getting rave reviews out at the demo beach. Everyone was talking about how clean and smooth it ran. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on it, but Blake showed me how everything works, gave me a walkthrough. And uh, yeah, we're excited to get this in. I think this is gonna really, really make a nice, clean, simple fishing vessel. And there's so much versatility. If you don't want the drive, it comes off. You can have your river fishing boat. You can have your pedal drive. Right at this point, you guys are looking at spring 2019. But you guys know, as soon as I get it in, I will give you my hands on it, and I will give you guys my honest feedback. Yeah, good tech. John, what's up? Oh, good morning. I'm getting here before everyone. And Kim, how's it going? <laughs> we got yak tools in the house. I did a full video on this stuff yesterday, so go check that one out. But uh, man, some of the stuff these guys are doing is unreal. We're definitely bringing them in. It's all Bluetooth, you guys. So if you want to control your fish finder, your lights, your navigation lights, you name it. You can do it all wirelessly, right from your phone or tablet. And potentially, they're talking about even having it set up on your Lorenz unit. So big stuff coming from these guys. Definitely come check them out at the shop. We already placed the order. Um, some exciting stuff coming down the pipe from the Act Tower. Well, check this out, you guys. So these plugs are gonna be kind of standard, right? But you can adapt it right here to USB. So if you wanna charge your phone, or if you wanna charge your GoPro, or if you wanna run like a little, uh, floodlight like this off it it'll all work right off that little port pretty sweet quick look at the bonafide kayaks this is the new woodsman edition you guys absolutely love this thing on instagram um, so decided to come get another shot of it for you got the camo seat the wood look at on the floor on the sea deck just super super sharp boat so new stuff from these guys the SI-123. There's been a few different full walkthrough videos of this boat. Uh, I'll let you guys check those out. Chad Hoover got in it as well as Alessi's Fishing. Uh, anyway, he checked it out too. But this is kind of a cool boat. This is an early prototype, but uh, we're always excited to see what these guys are doing and innovating. Another boat that you guys have been really excited about, and I've been really excited about too, is to have a Made in the USA Bonafide kayak under a thousand bucks. This is the RS-127. And then lastly, you guys got the wraps. So this has been all over the internet. You've seen it already, but look at that. Love the red, white, and blue. <laughs> all right, it beat Yak Attack to their own booth. Check it out. So this is the Omega rod holder. This is what you guys have been seeing all year. Now they have it with a higher extended arm. And they brought back the Zuka tube, which is one of their classics that they made, and they partnered with Ram. They actually own the rights to it. So now you're gonna be seeing the Zuka tube with the lock and load system. So really nice upgrade, a lot of versatility in that, as well as the tube style rod holders. A lot of guys like these for offshore, get your rods up and out. So they're gonna have that option too. So basically three different options with several different mounting options. We'll give you guys a ton of different ways to rig it up to fit your style of fishing. Also, fish rinder mouths with the lock and load system are now available. These will be shipping to us very shortly. This one was just released, the new Lowrance mount. Instead of the old style that clips from the back, this one clips from the side. And we'll be seeing those shortly as well. The other thing that I was really excited about is this little guy right here. So if you have any Scotty mounts on your boat, this thing is going to fit right into those existing Scotty, Cannon, whatever mounts, and allow you to use any of the new Yak Attack lock and load system directly on there. So. Those will be sweet. All right, this is another thing I've been getting questions about is this Titan specific steering upgrade. So tell me the difference in this one, Dave. Well, this one here is basically what, what they've done. It's gonna use the existing handle, created a little plate for tightening mm. in the back. It's gonna be an easy installation. Again, use the Spectra line, be able to tighten it. It'll have a tightening piece that on it. it makes it real simple that you don't have to pull it apart or do anything. Cool, can I give you a high five for that one? because man, tying those knots, especially when the shop's busy and we're cranking out like five Titans a day, I'm excited for that and I'm sure you guys will be too. <laughs> also you guys, you're doing a ton of little accessories to mount to your chairs. This is set up on a Hobie Pro Angler. These just clip on, but they also have some like this that bolt on. So a lot of really smart tool and storage uh, for your yacht coming out of the Burley Pro department. Uh, my favorite booth of the show. You know, I tell you what, this is the one booth I walked into yesterday. You know what they didn't do? Is they didn't try to sell me on a bunch of canoes. They immediately started talking about paddling, which, man, I love that. I met uh, Ted Balancel, the guy that does a lot of the, uh, the building of these boats. And just a cool bunch of guys. Those colors, I'll just buzz you guys through it real quick. The new abs, tracker colors, a few different options there. 
some of the women's colors for you guys. Most of the fishy vests are staying the same, but this is the vest we don't have in. I kind of like the looks of the new Pisces. This is an affordable fishing vest. It has a really good look to it. I might bring that one in. Palhama Sear showed up, man. They've got some incredible new designs. My favorite is this uh, Oahu with like the burled wood deck. You know, things insane. A lot of cool boats from them, or boards from them. The other thing I like to see is they're expanding on their VFT line. New deck pads, new color, as well as many new models in that. It's a vacuum formed plastic, so incredibly durable and affordable. These are like $8.99. Such a good deal for what you're getting. The new Moon Mist Air. This thing only weighs 19 pounds. Pretty incredible. That's going to be the future of uh, inflatable stops right there. And this is the new Catch 130 with the uh, flipper style drive. I think they're calling it the Hyper Drive. A lot of people talking about this, but I'll tell you that. $14.99, or $1 so $1,500 to get you into the uh, double drive. Here. We've got the new catamaran, or double tri-hole, I guess. Blue sky. You can just picture some people floating in the Colony River on this. Chilling with a bottle of wine, using an electric motor. Also has a catamaran set up as a sail rig. Be interesting. All right at the Warner booth, you guys, this is going to be a game changer. Show me how the new Feral works. Here. Yeah, so we're super excited about this uh, lever lock adjustable system. We uh, super simply open it up right there. You've got 20 centimeters of adjustability, and you can change your feather angle, whatever you'd like. Um, so this is really great, you know, for uh, a couple different boats, a couple different people who are paddling, or, uh, you know, if you want to go from paddling up to sight fishing, anything like that. Or, you know, uh, adjustable height chairs. I mean, some of these chairs have 10 inches of adjustment, so that ability to extend out in the same paddle and get your 230 to 250, or what does that extend to? What's the it's, we got a 220 to 240 and a okay. 240 to 260. So 240 to 260. A lot of you guys, like in lures and bona fides, that's your paddle right there. This is going to be the paddle of the future. All right, you guys, I got the new Coco Tad Neptune on. This thing is sweet. Tons of pockets, VHF spot right here in the front. Uh, Spider Co knife. It's got zipper pockets here, zipper pockets here, ton of protection along the side. It just feels super soft and breathable, man. This is great. We've got some new stuff over here from the Boondocks. They've actually redone their landing gear to make it even more versatile. Different mounting options with two different plates. So now it's not one big plate. You've got uh, different options to slide this in and out. You know, there's gear track all the way around. And they also changed the insert. This is nice, nice and snug fit. Uh, quieter that's a nice upgrade for these guys instead of having that little pole in there Sorry. it's not doing it one handed but you guys get the concepts they also upgraded their t-bone so now it's going to ship in a smaller package so it'll be more affordable for us to get it's got t-bolts on each side similar to the landing gear and then this little piece is a t-bolt where you can access and slide this in put it up against your boat or secure you know ladder or anything else as well as if you wanted to add like some Yak Attack D rings or whatever, any of that stuff will fit right on here. So, pretty excited about that, man. They're also coming out with a couple new rod tubes. If you guys are interested in rod tubes that fit on your trailer, these guys are super clean. They'll either attach direct like this with bolts, or they also have a U bracket that'll allow you to attach it to racks. All right, guys, we're in the Perception booth, and I know a lot of you guys have complained about the rod holders. Perception has addressed this with a rod extension too. Gets your rods up, gets it away from the salt water. It also fits in there nice and secure, and then you've got this little leash that'll go up around your reel. So they listen to you guys, and they definitely came up with a nice solution. A few more cool things from Perception is they've got this little cooler bag that fits in the front hatch of your pescador. They've got this little tackle crate cooler bag that goes on the back of the seat. You've got a spot for a plano box, rod holder, etc. And then this new crate bag for 75 bucks is really cool. You got storage in there, it's insulated. You've got a divider so you can put your tackle as well as your lunch. More storage on the outside. And then fishing rod holders that attach these D rings so you can attach as many and as different ones as you want to set it up for yourself. So. Hanging out with Rex from Action Hat. What's up, Rex? How's it going, man? And he's hooking me up. He's going to set me up with the Action Hat mount and we're going to set it up with a camera phone mount so I can be doing all my videos and bringing you guys along. So man, thanks for the hookup, Rex. No problem, brother. All right. If you guys aren't already, go follow this guy on Instagram at Action Hat. And then, uh, do you have your own Instagram? What's yeah, Rex Del Rey. Rex Del Rey. All yep. right, we'll link it up on there. Thanks, dude. Bounce yeah. officially launching their new bent shaft paddles too. We had the pleasure of uh, helping prototype and review these guys all summer. It's nice to see a lot of the subtle changes uh, in the final production. They look dang good too.
new kayak company back on. This is a tool that can sit on top for sure. Something different, man. It's nice to see some performance coming back to the industry. We're going to go for a one minute walkthrough on the Feel Free Dorado. Big bow handle, cathedral hole like you guys are used to seeing on the big fish. It's got LED lights rigged throughout the entire boat. I'll show you how that works. Front tank well, electronics pod, and this one is housing the wiring harness for the motor head unit that plugs into the overdrive. Uh, right now it's in preschool mode, the motor's plugged in. You turn it on over here, forward makes you go forward, backward makes you go in reverse, and then your speed control is right here. On the screen it tells you your battery life, your amperage draw, and your RPMs. Additional features here is you've got cigarette lighter, USB chargers built in, four rod holders, more tracks, beaver tail style rudder, wheel in the keel, skid plates, and last but not least is the eight ball shifter. Super smooth, super nice. So anyway, that's your one minute walk through the new Feel Free Dorado. This is a production model. We should be getting these guys in soon. All right, you guys, time for us to say goodbye to Paddle Sports Retailer. We're gonna head back out to California, but thank you guys so much for following along, checking out my highlights. Guys, there were thousands of things that I didn't have time to show you. But just know all the highlights of all the cool stuff we will be bringing in the shop. So keep checking back in with us. A lot of new products coming in now till the first of the year. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.